Okay, this is a real quick overview of my waste oil burner system. Uh, right now it's still in a very rough state, but I thought I would post a uh, update of it running for everybody. Okay, uh, what I have is just a Arduino uh, Pro Mini. There we go. Uh, Pro Mini operating off of a uh, homemade uh, PCB that pretty much gives the pinouts and a few other electrical issues that need to be uh, supplied and I uh, have the wires coming from it. Then I have a panel on the front of this box that has a, there we go, an, a 20 by four uh, LCD which tells me what mode it's operating in, the tank temperature and nozzle temperature. Um, and the, just have a couple buttons that right now they're unlabeled but the top one is run and the bottom one is shut down. Now inside, have a, a couple solid state relays, SSRs, a couple or a 5 volt and a 12 volt source, and a bank of four relays. And this is the back side of the panel. And that's my Arduino. Again, this is a very rough prototype stage. Um, the two solid state relays control the nozzle block and the uh, tank heater. To, uh, tank heater current, and those are just running off 120 volts AC. Okay, moving along. Uh, I have, for the oil delivery system, I have a pressurized uh, old propane tank. I pressurized to 15 pounds, and that runs into, see if I can move everything here, it runs into a electronic hydraulic valve. Uh, this is a little overkill for the pressures involved. I just have it at 10 PSI to feed the oil in. Um, but that clicks on and clicks off, and I'll show you the float switch here in a minute. Uh, runs through a filter housing that I made. Everything moved here. I just used a Fram PH8 filter. It's got a, I believe it's a three quarter by 16 thread, if I remember right, uh, or a three quarter by 20, I can't quite remember. But anyway, it's just a filter housing, and then the oil out goes along here and goes into my float tank. Now on my float tank, uh, just a couple pieces of pipe and then in and then out, and there's a water heater element in the bottom of it, which again is way overkill for what we uh, what we need. Uh, really, a little 200 watt heater, cartridge heater with some fins on it would work. But I got the water heater uh, element in it, and the smallest one I could get was I think 1200 watts. Again, it's way overkill for what we need. Then on the inside, there's a little float switch. It's just a Hall Effect uh, plastic float switch. And then I have my thermal probe that goes down inside, which is the wire up in front. Now, the tank temperature, 95 degrees, is uh, measured by a DS18V20 uh, waterproof sensor, and that's the wire going in in the front. And the float switch just activates the uh, solenoid valve, or the uh, hydraulic valve you saw uh, just a moment ago attached to the filter housing. So it keeps that at a uh, real nice, level, um, it, it only varies by maybe an eighth of an inch, which provides a real nice output to the burner. All right, the burner housing is a homemade, uh, it's kind of welded up a little shoddy, but it does work. Uh, just a homemade filter housing. I had an old leftover Beckett, uh, Beckett fan motor and fan, uh, squirrel cage fan leftover, so that's what that runs in. And then up in top, I have the uh, compressed air regulator. If I can get a good close up there. There we go, it's just running on about seven to seven and a half pounds of air pressure. And a Beckett igniter screwed into the top. Uh, these two leads here provide the 120 volt power to the, uh, to the igniter. So when this is energized with 120 volts, which is controlled by the Arduino relay board, uh, it provides a spark ignition. From there, uh, the blast tube goes in and goes into my barrel. Now what I'll do is I'll open up the, uh, woo, that's hot. All right, get a pair of pliers here. Okay, I'll open up the barrel. You can see inside, uh, what I used for a burn chamber was a piece of, uh, I believe it's eight inch uh, stove cast water pipe. Uh, it's not very high quality stuff, but it is a good, cast metal uh, that seems to withstand the heat pretty well. And I just have the uh, vent on the, uh, here's the inlet, and then it just 
vents down inside of those blocks um, and then blast the bottom of the barrel. From there, the hot gases go up and out the vent there and top. So with it open, there's a little bit of odor, but as you can see, there's no smoke coming out of this thing. Um, extremely clean burn. Right now we're burning about a half gallon an hour, which is not all that much. For the heat that's coming off of this barrel, uh, it's, it's not a whole lot of oil being used for the heat that's being thrown out. Um, going around it, I just have a uh, old squirrel cage fan. Uh, if you can see it down there, uh, just an old squirrel cage fan with a half horse motor. It's out of an old furnace that blows around the, uh, blows around the barrel. There we go. It just blows up and around the barrel and uh, extracts some more of the heat. And then I just, I just have the vent going right outside, just straight out the window. So uh, anyway, that's an overview. I can uh, disassemble this thing and uh, show everybody how the uh, how the nozzle block and the uh, Hago siphon nozzle work uh, to kind of give you an idea of uh, how the whole thing works. And uh, But that'll be for a later video. Uh, as of right now, this is the uh, thing in operation, and I'll uh, at a later time go through the whole startup and preheat procedure and the modes of operation that are involved in it. Anyway, I hope this answers a few of the questions. Uh, I will post updates here in the next couple days on the operation of it. Thanks a lot.